On a previous episode of Shadow Realm. Last night, I dreamt I was fighting with Ravan again. It had been years since I even thought about Ravan. Why had he chosen to come back now? Ew, goop again? It <laughs> sucks for you. What is it today? Brown slimy goop or green smelly goop? Get out of my face, Athena. Ma always said, a crusader cannot change the world if he allows himself to be vulnerable. But I didn't want to be a crusader. I just wanted to eat my kitchri in peace. She was clearly doing this for attention, but as the school's queen bee, didn't she have enough? Every girl already wanted to be her, and every guy wanted to be with her. But I guess for an attention addict, you could have more followers on social media than the population of France, and that still wouldn't stop you from going after an easy target. As long as it got you a laugh. Give me that goop. <laughs> what are you doing? That's my lunch. Goop eater, eater of goop, eating stuff that looks like poop. Ma always said, keeping quiet is better than speaking up in anger. But this happened every lunchtime. I couldn't take it anymore. Hey, that's my chocolate pudding. What's going on here? Look what he did. He's ruined my white Ralph Lauren shirt. She started it. Not you again. You're going to stay behind and clean up this mess. Even if it means missing the rest of lunch break. You clean it up. I'm out of here. Hey, come back here or I'll have the head of school after you. Behind the dilapidated basketball court in the schoolyard of McKinley High School is a wall with a brightly painted mural of an African-American kid, a Hispanic kid, and a white kid playing together underneath the school's motto, We Stand Together. Sounds great, doesn't it? Except there's no South Asian kid standing with them. At this school, every South Asian kid, and by that I meant me since I was the only brownie here, stood alone. My parents could have sent me to any number of schools for geeks, and it's not like there's a shortage of South Asian kids in San Francisco. But they sent me here because they wanted me to integrate. Like how Ma had single-handedly integrated Ayurvedic medicine into the city's public hospital system. But I wasn't Ma, and this school was hardly the symbol of racial harmony that the mural suggested it was. So, I spat at it. Hey, if it isn't Arya Bin Laden, where are you going? Heading home to Goop Mama in the Terror Den? Stop bothering me, Elias. Bothering you? Who's bothering you? Hey, what's that smell? I think this boy's been farting like a maniac. <laughs> I told you that Goop was nasty. I'm not doing anything to you. I'm just hanging out. Are ya insulting me? You don't own the yard, you know. That's where you're wrong. Hey, what's this we have here? Hey, give it back! My dad bought me that skateboard for my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> no! Hold him down! <sighs> Don't let him get away! Every single kid in that yard stood together, like their school motto, cheering them on to beat the shit out of me. But what happened to rooting for the underdog? The only person on my side was the school janitor, Nicholas. Come on, Aria. You can beat them. There was no time to deliberate. Just as I thought I'd escaped. <clears throat> I bumped straight into the head of the school. Aria, in my office. You and I need to have a chat. Another incident at lunch today? When is this going to stop? It wasn't my fault. All they ever do is call me goop eater and terrorist. I understand that being the only South Asian makes it harder to fit in at this school. But what you see as an obstacle could turn out to be an asset. Are you even aware of what's happening in your school? How come Athena and those boys never get in trouble? Why aren't they sitting here? Those who cause trouble in this school will eventually be punished. But what worries me more is how you react to them. Instantly, without thinking, and with violence. 
It is always reaction to a crime that incites violence, hardly ever the crime itself. Great! So to them I'm a terrorist, and to you I'm a criminal. That's not what I said. Am I getting detention again? What's the good of sending you to detention when you don't learn anything from it? I don't see any point in you staying here. Spend the afternoon at home thinking about what I said. What? You're suspending me? I have a math test this afternoon. If I get an F for just being absent, my father will lose it. I think this situation is worth more of your time than a math test. But- No buts. Consider this your education for today. Thank you for listening to Shadow Realm. If you enjoyed today's episode, share it with someone who'd love to journey through the Aria Chronicles. Visit the ariachronicles.com for more information. Be sure to rate and review us wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts. Coming up on Shadow Realm. I just want to fit in. Aria, I want that too. But you don't have to sacrifice who you are just to fit in. The gods show up when life goes so awry that we need them the most. Listen, there's a Halloween party at Jackson's tomorrow night. You gotta come. Stay tuned for more.